In this video, we'll talk about enteropathic arthritis, and it's going to be a short video, just important information for you from a practical standpoint as well as in the exam. So basically, enteropathic arthritis is joint pain associated with inflammatory bowel disease. And here we are talking about Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. So make sure to understand that still the most common causes of arthritis in these patients are the common ones like rheumatoid or SLE as well as osteoarthritis. That's why it's a diagnosis of exclusion. Now, just important information, it's more associated with large bowel than small bowel, and it involves the peripheral joints, mainly the knees and the MCPs. And you need to know, they are non-deforming, which means there will be no erosions if you do an x-ray, and that's a way you can differentiate it from rheumatoid arthritis, for example. Now, CRP is one of the inflammatory markers that we use to monitor inflammatory diseases, here, in enteropathic arthritis, it does not correlate with the disease activity, so keep this in your mind if they ask about that. Now, regarding treatment, it's straightforward. You just want to treat the inflammatory bowel disease, and once you treat the inflammatory bowel disease, the arthritis will improve by itself. In the meantime, you can just support the patient with painkillers and rice management. And this is what you need to know. See you in the next one.